Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. So today I'm going to do a follow-up to my product research video. I told you I had another product I found that was a little weird. Um, so I want to just kind of go through that. I want to do it as a separate video because it's kind of a couple different things. So I'm going to cut right to it. This won't take long. You might find something interesting. Uh, this is probably a pretty good product idea. But anyhow, I stayed with the arts and crafts because that's what I was looking for in that session, the last session I did. So what I found was, was silly, but it's this crinkle-cut wrapping paper. So all it is is that stuff that you um, you know put in the bottom of a gift box or whatever. So this is just one example. There's a million sellers. I have no idea if this is a good price, but it has a, a low minimum uh, and some you know anywhere from a buck a kilogram up. So that's about 50 cents a pound to give you a flavor. So I call this crinkle paper. I don't know what it really is called, but anyhow I put this into viral launch and. Um, it came up with three and a half stars. This actually came up when I did it before. It was only a two star. So I don't know what changed. But anyways, now it's three and a half. But look at the volume this guy's doing. Like Mighty Gadget here is doing uh, 10000 a month in 50 cent crinkle paper. But he's actually doing way more than that. And this is the part that I think is weird. So I don't know if they're doing this to, to trick, um, you know, Jungle Scout or what. But the way that they've got it listed here, if you look into it, if you look, dig a little bit deeper... He's got every single color, he or she, has every single color listed separately. So instead of doing a parent listing and then doing variations off that, where all your reviews would count in one bundle and you could just select the color, they did a different listing for every single color and every uh, different size product. So they have one pound and then they have half pound. And they have separate listings for every single one of those. So, if you go down here, you can see it. You know, here's another one. This is a one pound uh, in a different color. This is light ivory. So, there's a couple things you can glean from this. First of all, if you're Mighty Gadget, if you're doing this to trick Jungle Scout, it's working pretty good. If you're not doing it to trick Jungle Scout, you should change the way that you do things. Because I think you'd sell more having one product with variations. But, anyhow, uh, if you're Mighty Gadget, you're probably going to be mad at me because I probably got you a lot of competition. Uh, so anyways, they have a, they're not the only ones. There's a couple of these. This Momoka's one. they got a couple, too. Um, if you look at this, they're doing just one color at a time, which is kind of strange. So that, that one's not prime, so I wouldn't worry about that. But uh, Anyhow, so if you go down and add up all of Mighty Gadget, just looking here on this, just page one, the top 24, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine listings for the same product just in different sizes and shapes so the reviews consequently they don't have a lot of reviews on any of them even this one that they're selling uh ten thousand they're selling 787 units a month they only have 10 reviews so it's very strange the way that that's working out uh, but anyways this might be a great product idea because you just throw it in a in a bag there's what theirs looks like in a bag you just put it in a bag it comes from the factory that way you slap a sticker on it and off you go this might be a great product idea for somebody uh, but anyhow, I just thought it was kind of interesting. So it just shows you, you know, maybe dig a little further into, um, you know, I'm, again, I'm using Viral Launch. But if you have your own, you know, if you use Jungle Scout or whatever, you know, might, take the time to go through. Don't just look at the score that it gets. Take the time to kind of take a look. Because in this case, I think that score is, is artificially uh, low based on looking like there's a lot more competition than there really is. There's really only a couple. They just have a bunch of, uh, of variations that they listed independently. So kind of crazy. Anyways, I hope that helps you. If you want to get in the crinkle paper business, it might be a good one for you. You're welcome. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe.